Alright, yes, that's the way. Whew! What's this? This is like a Star Trek place. Oh! Oh! Oh, can I interact with this one? The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for- Oh, come on. I just let me walk- okay. I just want to look around. The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. I love how they call it corrupter. Peacekeeping. Slave enemy robots to its own network. Sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. I don't know if this will be something different, but... The BOR-7 yep. Horus. Imagine Horus. a complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus' onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage, always regulating Always ready. So is that Hades? The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. Yeah. So these were Faro machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? Yeah. Something to do with the code or something. It has to be something to do with coding. There has to be a back door somewhere. Maybe you can force a back door. Um, but anyway, it's interesting that they call it Horus. Um, oh, there was something else they were talking about in there that I was going to say. Um, oh, crap. Ugh, something else that they were saying, like, made me think of something. For Horus. Um. Mm, I don't know. I don't remember. The FSP-5 Kopesh provides Aye. a one-size-fits-all solution to main That's battle the death force one. capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs oh. and conflict resolution profile. Conflict Patented resolution? Biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental Minimal environment, that's what they're worried about. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review. Legal reviews! Domestic operations. Or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopech. So, we had this whole thing. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle. So we had this whole thing where they were like, we gotta save the environment, you know? Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make these automated machines that are environmentally friendly. And then they freaking use them to kill people. Like, so while all of this is going on about trying to save the environment, there's enough demand for war machines that they're able to profit exponentially off human conflict 
Like, there's other things that need to be focused on here. Like, I mean, the environment is a big deal, and, like, we need to, like, be responsible and, like, fix things and, like, take steps in the future or whatever. But if you've got, like, global warfare, they're not, there's, it's not called World War Three. It's just a bunch of smaller nations, like, having conflicts or preventing conflict, right? I mean, that's what all the nuclear weapons are, ostensibly, is that, like, we've got a lot of nuclear weapons, so that means, um, you... Uh, freaking, like, can't hurt us, and, uh, so we're gonna put these big old giant machines out here, and, uh, so you can't hurt us, because we have big old giant machines, uh, and you have big old giant machines, and that's only gonna work on the bigger powers, right? You get, like, the smaller ones that are feuding, and, like, between corporations, feuding between corporations? Like, oh my gosh. Between corporations and smaller, like, nations? Oh my gosh, things are... Oh, this is... So aggravating. Spiritual summit. How about that? Let's see what Ted Farrell has to say about spiritual summiting. Uh, Paula, recent events have sharpened my perspective, and I think that I, in fast in general, have been neglecting the spiritual side of things. Not under any specific religious framework, framework, of course, but in a more general sense, as in not giving enough thought to our shared values, hopes, and aspirations for the afterlife. I'd like you to reach out to religious leaders in every stripe with the intention of scheduling a conference soon, very soon. I'll have more thoughts about the agenda later, but for now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent. No cooks, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go deluxe. Make sure, make it clear we'll spend no expense. Thanks, Ted. Why? Why? Because everybody's gonna die, and he wants to have all these like religious leaders on hand and make people feel a little bit more peaceful about the end of the world. Because you brought the end of the world about. Why would you do that? That's an interesting. That's interesting. That's literally the only reason I can think of that you would do that is to be like, well, you know, let's just have the world summit and, uh, or, or you're gonna hold them hostage or something, I don't know. This is very interesting. This I'm getting, useful, I'm yeah. getting wires too. I'm stoked about wires. Uh, fast campus log. High priority alert, all automated log note. No, all non-essential systems have entered hibernation. High priority alert, automated log note, full lockdown has been initiated. High priority alert, due to increasing frequency of violent protests targeting the campus, the security of FAST employees can no longer be guaranteed. Therefore, we have taken the difficult decision to shutter this facility indefinitely. Staff will be briefed on a block-by-block -block basis regarding proper procedure for archiving and or disposal of project-related data and materials. ISEC and a crisis team will then conduct exit review before all areas are locked down. High priority alert. So what they're saying, so, okay, so people, so everyone's still alive. Um, but things are going down south, and people outside are protesting so much that they aren't actually letting their employees leave, and they're shutting the facility down and trying to destroy any incriminating evidence. High priority alert. Priority messaging to all staff at ENF blogs. Treat the current lockdown situation as an exercise, but do not attempt to release the hatches or otherwise exit the buildings. High priority alert. A reminder that while high sec personnel remain committed to employee safety during the current unfortunate events, personnel firearms must be relinquished when presenting for identity scan. Uh huh. High priority alert. Additional public access roads en route to the campus have now been closed to relieve waiting time at the outer security cordons. High sec reminds all staff that the campus remains off limits to the public. Following recent campus security issues. All staff are reminded that presenting for identity scan and displaying your security badge predominantly at all times for image and, and analytics are both mandatory. Uh-oh. In light of recent acts of terrorism directed at the rapid transit system, HiSec now offers a Big Brother initiative to accompany staff traveling from off-site. Sign-up is required and strongly encouraged. Oh, man. So, people were like, stop. So, people were angry at Faro. Yeah. At the corporation. They blame this place for something. Something bad. Did I go in here? I oh, did. Right? Yes. Oops. Okay. And I went in there. You wanna go in here now? It looks like the way up. What's left of it? Oh, geez, you're right. Up we go. 
gonna be a long Ooh. way up. Frozen metal most of the way. I hope I'm wearing gloves. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. I sound very cold. Uh, I wish I had the icy bun. If plants thing. can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's exactly, you're exactly right. I mean, I don't know how there's greenery in the cold, but, you know, it's a post-apocalypse. Anything is possible. Um, what was that? Okay. Look how cold she is, jeez. Super cold here. I'm not finding any bodies, which I find really, really odd. I don't know what the other facility was. Like, why there are people there that decided to kill themselves? It's cold. Okay, hello. Regarding the rumors... This is the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Timor Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been... ...exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand-down coats, and by all signs they appear to be replicating at a... ...precipitous rate. Ah. Now what I can promise... I can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they It matters because people died! Built for war. Not peace. Exactly. Girl, girl, you know. She ain't fooled by it. No, yeah, it's like, yeah, I, it's like, of course he is. He's trying to cover his butt. Of course I'm dedicated to fixing this problem. Yeah, because you're upset that people are like, oh no, you're breaking, you're destroying the world. Like, it's a bummer deal, guy. It's a pretty bummer deal. Wealth and power means nothing in the face of true adversity. Like, get, no, don't, don't do that. Go over here. Okay. Woo. Come on, fall off. Oh, do I have to drop? It looks like I maybe have to drop. No? Or... Um, I go up? Oh. Okay. I am glad I didn't drop. That would have been a pain. Yeah, where are the working elevators? Uh, rock? I haven't used rocks in years! Anything, 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 anything. I guess this isn't really helping me like see things that aren't like crazy obvious. Oh, that was really terrifying, actually. But it's habit. Okie dokie, are we gonna make it? Okie dokie, here we go. Yeah, 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 I know, you're cold. <laughs> Up we go. <laughs> like, she'd have to be wearing gloves for this. Nope. Yeah. Yes. And I've only got a stealth uniform on. I don't have anything that helps against the cold. Ugh. My resources satchel is full. That is unacceptable. Rich meat, though. Resources. 
Ugh, this stuff is money, money. Tiny meat. resistance. Okay. Okay, that hasn't happened like ever, I think, but uh, being so full up on stuff. No! <sighs> it better put me not at a bad spot or I will Scream. I will scream! Okay. Not bad. Okay, good. Oh, we did the whole... Wait, no, we maybe didn't. I'd have to ditch okay. something. Yep, okay, we are gonna ditch something then. Resource... Whoopsie. I was like trying to keep an eye out for anything I had to jump, but I was like, I was like, I stopped just a tiny too soon. It's a tiny bit. Well, this area is really pretty well lit the higher we go, but also subjected to a lot more damage. Don't you dare fall in that freaking hole! I think at this point I'm just climbing. But I don't want to miss anything. Oh man. We are above the clouds now! Holy cow. Big building. Can I can I reach it? No. Now it's raining. We're up so high it's raining. Okay. <laughs> go go. I don't like dangling. Oh my gosh, are we near, like, freaking, are we close? Are we close? From Stacy Anders. Find a sea incident. Bob. Subject dolphin vid. Another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently a fisherman in the Banda Sea captured video of a Hearts Timor Horus unit refueling via biomatter conversion. Uh, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say this. I was gonna say this. Their biomatter conversion thing sounds like they're literally using... Okay, I, I totally spaced it, but I meant to say something. It sounds like they say biomatter and they're like, oh, on the plants. But, okay, so if it's green, it's actually impacting the environment by instead of using, like, like unrenewable fuels, it's using any biomass it can. And... That includes, like, dead bodies of people. That's why, like, it can, like, fuel itself because it's on a battlefield. It's, is it using people's bodies? So you can't even, like, get the remains back to, like, bury them or identify them? And freaking look! It's, a lot, it's on a pot of endangered dolphins, no less, quite possibly the last of their kind. Not to get graphic, but it looks like what happened inside a blender is that the robot were whipping up a pink, swirling milkshake of dolphin chum. Our suppression team has scrubbed it from 43 networks, but it's still propagating, it's only a matter of time before it goes viral. A prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Any suggestions? This one's a real- A real stinker! A real stinker, Stacy! Is that what you're gonna call it? For reals? On the, okay, the last pot of dolphins 
in this area, right? Oh, we're environmentally friendly. We're trying to save the environment. We're just eating everything in sight is all. I was hoping that that was not what it meant by biomass converter. I was hoping it was like some sort of fuel that it was like converting of some kind somehow. But no, it literally means any biomass it can get its hands on. They thought that was a good idea. They thought it was going to be a program like intelligent, self-sustaining AI with the ability to refuel off of humans and other creatures, other living things. They thought that was a good idea. How did that get... <sighs> That's disgusting and terrible. Oh, it's so sick. Oh, I'm so angry. That's a real stinker. Oh! We need to get the guillotines back out. Oh my gosh. It's just so frustrating. All it takes is a few good handholds. It's like, because the problem is, is you can see how this would happen. People motivated solely by wealth. Made it. And like personal gain and like who don't care to ask questions because they know they'll get in trouble like and they're just content i thought i saw a person down there they're content for the status quo just because it's the way it's been or because they get money off of it or because they just they just they they get something out of it the status quo is not it's not a good thing it's not a good thing Things need to be changed. 6% power remaining. All data has been erased from this device. Hi, Do you wish to deploy either privileges to recover purge data? Hi, Daddy, my way. Yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Scan the data point. Aha. One file. Oh, it's me. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps it we could have sounds much like me. brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up to something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. She's There's feisty. A glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Yeah. Another phone has been recovered. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass mm -hmm. as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited self-manufacture controlled. Not anymore! Not anymore. Mm. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. Well, you, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 minutes. Oh my gosh! We're not talking fall of civilization, we're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained, it can't be! You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Did you guys have some sort of history and this is making this extra difficult? The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. Yeah, that was... Somehow oh. she defeated them. Who decided 
Yes! The old ones fell, but life went on, or, or we wouldn't be here. Who decided that was a good idea? <laughs> Who thought it was the bucket, the self replication, whatever? Fine, autonomous, sort of. Okay, fine, but biomass, biomass. Who decided? Oh my god! I can't handle this. I don't. I'm like throwing my controller around. I have who? Project Zero Dawn. Oh. <gasps> Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. Yeah, she does. I'll sign. They're basically Look on eradicating the side, Ted. They're eradicating. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. Yeah, he just signed basically the eradication of uh what made her solution so terrible. The world as it was, I think. What did she do to stop the robots? Something had access detected. Express oh, good. Um, no, yeah, I bet you because it's zero dawn, right? Like, Operation Zero Dawn. So basically what she was, the, the only way to fix it was to destroy everything. But, well, and I wonder then if everybody who lives right now is some sort of clone. Because I was going to say, like, there's people, there, there's the environment is still here. There are obviously still human beings around. Um, so did they have to eradicate all human, animal life, e anything with biomass, but not there. Because plants still count as biomass. I don't know. But something happened where he was basically going to have to, I, I guarantee you that he was going to, he signed... Like, there's, there's no hope for this current iteration of the civilization. And they had to destroy it somehow, some way, to make way for... So that there wouldn't be total extinction, like she said. Um, but if they did, if somehow, like, the people who are left didn't actually survive this catastrophe, but there were, like, gene banks or something, because how was I made, right? So I wonder if, like, everybody... Or, or if, you know, I maybe, maybe Dr. Sp Sobek had some sort of priority thing where, like, in the event of of, of the program coming back or whatever, of Hades coming back, um, the, she would basically become a clone. She would, she would, she would clone herself, would be reborn, sort of, and find all these clues and whatnot and, and fix the problem again if it ever cropped up. Um, or everybody out here is basically a clone of somebody who lived back in the day, or at least of a select few who got to clone themselves or something. That is so interesting! And so terrible! Like, yeah, when you're actually faced with the consequences of your decisions, guy, which was, you know, for a long time he's like, oh, a nation will die here, a nation will die there. But when you have to eradicate all of known civilization because of your mistake, oh, I just, it almost hits too close to home. Like, it just sounds too real, you know? In a way. But anyway, I think I'll have to call this one here. Um, this has been a lot of info thrown at us. 
So, wowza. <laughs> and I have to let the dogs out now. So thank you all so much for joining me on this. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how this is all going to play out. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.